Okay, hi everybody, my name is Paolo Dungilli. I'm from the province of Bolzano, South Tyrol, it's northern part of Italy. I'm technical inspector for the school board. I'm here with my colleague Natasha. My name is Natasha and I am a um, kindergarten teacher. Okay, we'll talk about uh, uh, the e-portfolio that we would like to introduce in South Tyrolean schools. It's not, uh, it did not start as our idea because the e-portfolio is something that was introduced by mi the Ministry of Education in Italy in 2022. And uh, the idea is uh, of having a tool for uh, students and families in order to represent a student's school career, their progresses, uh, their skills over years, educational, extracurricular experiences, and uh, certifications they obtain during the school years. But uh, uh, yeah, the portfolio is structured with these five uh, uh, main uh, areas. So the study path, skill development, uh, masterpiece, which is one masterpiece that the student has to uh, find out among the many uh, documents he produced during the career, a self-assessment by students, and some other documents. There is something that the e-portfolio is lacking though. It is lacking uh, a way of storing all the documents, all the materials that students produce over years. So starting from kindergarten to the last year of high school. So a way, for example, to share their work with uh, other students, with uh, teachers, with families, and so on. And more important than the other is a way to share educational pathways. This is especially mm, very important in, also in kindergartens, so that their resources are also shared with the local community. So in order to fill the gap, uh, starting with kindergartens, we started using Nextcloud. And uh, um, as main, uh, most important component is the file one. Well, um, in kindergartens, we can store documents, multimedia components, so audio and videos, uh, documentation of experiences, experiences made with, uh, with children, and um, of course, sharing all this material with the parents at the end of the last year. Uh, the, the portfolio before was a so-called carton briefcase. It started in 1991. Every five-year-old uh, uh, child received this uh, uh, carton briefcase, brought it home, and this briefcase was used as a transition toward the first year of primary school. This was transformed this year into a digital briefcase. We started with 10 kindergartens. This is how it looks like. So you see it's Nextcloud. Next there is just the icon that was changed in the upper left corner. And uh, so this digital briefcase was available for all parents. And so seeing the progresses, progresses made, it, made by students and children over years. The idea is to bring this briefcase, the e-portfolio, to all the other uh, school years. And of course, we need the, all the features that Nextcloud uh, uh, brings with it. So starting from kindergarten to elementary, middle and high schools and uh, some other um, tools we, uh, we started using our Moodle because we also wanted an e-learning platform, uh, LibreOffice or Collabora Online and uh, Big Blue Button that maybe in future will be replaced uh, with uh, Talk and uh, as central authentication uh, uh, component, uh, we are using Authentic. Of course, we did not reinvent the wheel because the idea came from uh, a Spanish project which is called Democratic Digitalization, which was started by Xnet in Barcelona. Uh, the project leader is uh, Simona Levy and she just published uh, a book uh, about uh, what she means and we all mean by democratic digitalization of uh, education. It means that education, uh, that digitalization, digitalization has to be free and public, auditable, interoperable, and most of all, sovereign. 
here you can see some useful links uh, where, I mean, uh, the idea of having a free tools in school started by the FUS projects around 20 years ago, where we brought free software to all Italian-speaking schools in our region, and some other important links you can watch uh, uh, at the end of the talk. Thanks so much for your attention.